Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing well. In today's video, like I said, in yesterday's video, we are gonna be looking at Copa Attackers One. In today's video, in yesterday's video, we looked at Euro Attackers One and Two, and I told you guys the best two players to be doing in those evolutions. Now, in today's video, we'll be trying to see which player is the best to complete in Copa Attackers. Like I said in yesterday's video. we are only getting three players to complete in this copa attackers as of now so the three players are going to be richarlison icardi and lozano now two strikers and one left wing i mean right winger and richarlison you can also use him at left wing right wing and center forward and i think icardi you can use him at only center forward and striker okay so you get a striker you get a forward and then you get a right winger i'm guessing yeah you get a right winger and a right midfielder if you want to use him at that position but you're going to be out of these three players you can take two of them uh, two of them two of them and send them to 95 rated players now i would suggest go for a right winger and go for either ricardo or richarlison because if you look at the stats very similar stats on both of them 83 dribbling on ricardo 89 on Richarlison, 86 shot on uh, Richarlison and on Icardi is 88, 86 base on both of them. So both of them, I mean either one of them, if you do, guys end up doing, you're gonna have very very same stats, very very similar stats. So I would suggest go for Lozano as your first choice because he's gonna be getting 99 pace, 95 dribbling, 90 shooting. He is gonna be getting only 87 passing for a right winger. Is that good enough? Not sure. Only 88 crossing is gonna be getting. But you can still use a chemistry style and improve that. And if you guys have enough players from Mexico or even from Eredivisie, you can easily get the get the what do you say basic chemistry style boost and improve all these stats. I would definitely suggest going for Lozana as your uh, first choice player. for this evolution and then you also have copa attacker too like i said so first keep it for lozano or richarlison or ricardi i mean first keep it for lozano i mean that is the best thing i would suggest and for the second one which is going to be literally the same thing you guys can go for richarlison i think richarlison is a good choice because you can play him at three other positions apart from the center forward or striker position I think yeah I think that is the best way to go now for this also it's going to be the same three levels the same objectives first you have to for level 1 you have to play three squad battles and you have to win two squad battles while having this player in your team you have to start the evolutions and then take that evolution in progress card and put them in the team play in them in either whatever position they are supposed to be played at put them play these objectives level 1 3 squad battles or rivals or champions and you have to win three, two of those uh, so if you do that you'll get plus 3 pace plus 3 shooting plus 4 passing plus 7 dribbling and tiki taka play style not a play style plus but tiki taka play style the normal play style and for level 2 if you complete level 1 you'll get it this you'll be getting this 90 rated card and for level 2 completion you'll be getting a 95 rated evolution in progress card and for the final level 3 will be getting the complete evolution done so first one you'll be getting a uh, boost in shooting pace passing and dribbling for level 2 you'll be getting in pace shooting and in defense so for level 2 challenges you have to play i mean you have to win four squad battles and you have to score 3 goals with the ricarlison player that this 90 rated card you have to score 3 goals and then you have to win four squad battles or rivals while having that player in your squad and the final challenge is you'll be getting plus 4 pace plus 7 physical plus 1 skill move trickster play style plus proven play style and technical play style plus to complete this you have to do three different challenges first is play for rivals level 3 is always going to take a lot of time because you have to play four rivals and if you're lucky enough to win all those four you just have to play one more squad battle or one more rival and win that because you have to get five wins either from squad battles or rivals or champions so four rival games that is the first one and then five wins in either squad battles rivals or champions and then you have to score six goals with the player 
in either squad battles, rivals or champions. So if you're lucky enough to complete four wins in four rivals games and get six goals with the player, that is a big, big plus because you just have to play five games in total then. Otherwise, you have to end up playing four rivals and then depending on how many you won, you have to play the rest in squad battles. It will be easier to win and get the challenges done. And then you'll get this lovely card, five star skill move, five star weak foot, and then 93 pace, 94 shooting, 89 passing, 96 dribbling and 91 uh, physical with good jumping stats, with good heading accuracy, with good uh, short power, 98 short power, 95 acceleration and 92 sprint speed. I feel like his sprint speed, I mean his pace should be a bit higher. I feel like 93, even after the evolution is being done, is a bit low. I feel like around 96, 97 will be the be best uh, pace for him. But it is what it is. My voice cracked terribly over there. It is insane how much my voice cracks it when I'm recording videos, guys. But hopefully, these videos are helpful for you guys to kind of figure out which player to use in uh, these evolutions. We are also going to be doing an evolution review on the star performer. I just need some time and let all these other evolutions get settled into the community. So that people get an idea of what you can get out of these Euro themed, Copa America themed, you know, evolutions. Once that is done, we'll be doing a couple of player reviews. We still have to do a pack opening for this uh, Paths to Glory, Greats of the Game, all those kind of things. There are so many promos out there right now. It's confusing my brain cells. So we, I am saving packs. So we'll be doing a pack opening real soon and hope you guys are enjoying this. Hope you guys have enjoyed all the videos that have been released and make sure you guys check out the channel as well. A ton of videos are there for you guys to kind of, you know, browse around and check and chill to. There are videos that are informative. There are videos that are pure chill, fun and relaxing. There are videos that you guys will be kind of involved in and you might enjoy a lot. So different kind of videos everything on on this channel and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one let me know what you guys would like to see on the channel more either player reviews evolution reviews you guys would like to see more of the live you know the the one that i post i have only posted one episode of it so far which is the live euros path to glory it's really really nice we are spinning wheels selecting a team and then playing with them trying to take them through the group stage and the playoffs and all that good stuff to the finals hopefully get the get the beautiful cup with the team that we are given by the trusty wheel and it is really good so let me know in the comment section and do hit the subscribe while you're at it i'll see you guys in the next one until then take care stay safe stay motivated guys Bye bye